But so much for the four-game Celtic winning streak. They did make a close in Kansas City, and they do have three players coming back to form by Friday. So even in defeat, there are some signs for optimism for Celtic fans. Now, Dave Bing was the main story in the early going out in Kansas City. He hit on 16 of the Celtics' first 24 points in a generally sluggish first quarter. Now, two came with Cedric Maxwell leading the break. Here he does North Carolina Charlotte style. Bing and Cowens kept the Celtics close. I had Bing for 26. UPI said he had 28. Either way, he led the team. Sidney Wicks continued his rebounding surge, getting 12 in the first half. When Ernie D came in, Ernie hit his first two, generally played solid defense. 47 all at halftime. Here was the ball game right here. Ron Boone will wind up hitting. He led Kansas City with 22 points. He had a nine-point lead with 450 left. But Cowan's leading the Celtics. I had him for 25. UPI says 24. Anyway, the Celtics came back, made a game out of it. The cruncher was an unbelievable shot from a little-known guy named Bob Nash from the corner with 40 seconds left. Kansas City led by four. Celtics still didn't quit. 15 seconds left when Wicks got a big tip in, closed the Celtics to within two, but watch this Lucius Allen free throw. Agonizingly rolls around and in. He hit a second one. That was the ball game.